Well, newly elected Gambian President Adama Barrow's government is taking steps to restore the economy, rule of law and political reforms after two decades of one-party rule. Gambia's Vice President recently visited the United States to thank its partners for the help they provided during the nation's political impasse. In an exclusive interview, Fatou Matajalo Tambajang told viewers Maria Madialo about the challenges her country is facing, such as the lack of water and electricity, possible currency depreciation and proposed cuts in aid from the United States. We have initiated with our partners has yielded to positive results because they have indicated their commitment from the Congress to the State Department and other partners have indicated their interest to support the Gambia in rebuilding a new Gambia with a new democratic dispensation. Um, his regime, the 22-year regime, was quite a challenging regime. There was no freedom of uh, expression, no freedom of association. Uh, institutions were not were dormant because of his uh, dictatorial uh, um, handling of the state. There were reports that when he left the country, he also took a lot of cash with him. Is that true? From the state of things, we have realized that so many things have gone wrong. An economy that had only two months export, National Reserve, is an indication that there was bad governance. We also have to know that we are living in an era where everybody by experience is supposed to be looking out for what uh, do and holding public office, uh, officers accountable to the constitution that uh, which they had sworn in to protect. However, the, the experience we have had is that he has acquired a lot of assets, both landed and unlanded assets and financial assets. Now, we uh, do not want to make any statement on the magnitude of the misappropriation that he has done simply because we want to really make it an evidence-based matter. Well, speaking of that and talking about uh, holding uh, some of these leader, leaders accountable, I know that when uh, Jame was in power, at some point he decided that Gambia was going to get out of the International Criminal Court. And I think when Barok won the elections, he talked about Gambia will stay uh, with the ICC. So is he going to be pursued, for example, or prosecuted? Is it something that your country is thinking about uh, in, the, in the long run or in the short term? We are saying that the, the matter of ICC should be really a matter that should be confined to the legal system. Uh, this is a new government of uh, a democratic dispensation that does not want to interfere into other matters of uh, non-partisan. Uh, uh, for instance, the, the state wants to be executive, have to distinction to distinguish between the executive, the judiciary, and the legislature. Well, moving forward to today, our you know, what's happening today in, the, in Gambia. Um, there are certain reports, uh, obviously, uh, that there is, let's say, lack of electricity of, or lack of water. I'm just curious to know, what is the government doing to work on issues like that? Just as we have uh, discussed with uh, uh, Her, Her Excellency the Karen Bass, Congresswoman, and uh, Congressman James Smith, uh, John Smith, we have realized that we, the challenges are enormous. It is relatively normal to have African countries lacking certain infrastructural development, communication, energy, and so forth. But our country is unique. This is just to show you that there has been bad governance in terms of political and, and economic governance, because you cannot uh, understand and cannot appreciate that a, a small country of the size of 1.8 million will, at this stage of development, uh, lack electricity, lack water. Because if we go to the rural areas, there are still women using the well system. You know, water and sanitation is poor. The health sector is, uh, has been really uh, been fragmented. The infrastructure is very poor. There's also talk so, about the, uh, the Dallasy and maybe currency depreciation. Is this something that you guys are already looking into and, and, and gearing up for? We are looking at it. The macroeconomy is, uh, was weak when we took over, but now, now it has started uh, being uh, improved. We have got the World Bank that has provided us with uh, 
60 million dollars for budget support. The EU has also provided us and we are the United Nations system also through its interagency mechanism uh, is also out to help us. There are also bilateral donors who are willing to help us like the, the, um, the State Department, the United States government, the UK government through their own mechanisms. Well, I, I actually have a quick question about aid in general, and you talk about the United States, but uh, from the new administration, uh, from what we've heard, uh, basically, that uh, they are thinking about cutting aid in general and how something like that w will affect a country like Gambia. America is the big brother. If America has cold, it sneezes, everybody gets a cold. So it is important that they realize that the rest of the world is looking up to them in terms of democratic culture, in terms of support, financial and economic and vice support, policy support. So this is affecting the whole world. And our position is to really join the many voices who want to encourage the government of uh, America, the American government, to reconsider the budget cuts, to, uh, particularly in critical areas like economy, peace building, um, security reform, health, uh, particularly when they know that uh, their mechanism like the USAID, which is usually present in many developing countries, has been playing a critical role in supporting the development agenda of countries.